Hi guys, let's consider on Sagan list level 2 interview question and answers. So, what is the primary role of SOC analyst level 2 L2? A SOC analyst L2 primarily focus on monitoring, detecting, and responding to the security incident with an organization network and systems. What are the key differences between SOC L1 and L2 analyst? L1 analyst typically handles routine tasks like monitoring alerts while L2 analyst involved in incident investigation and analysis and more complex response action. Explain the concept of threat intelligence, how it is used in SOC operation. Threat intelligence involves gathering, analyzing and using information about the current and push potential threat to enhance security measures. SOC analyst uses it proactively identify and defend against the threat. What is the importance of log analysis in SOC environment? Log analysis is crucial for detecting abnormal activities, identifying security incidents, and uh, understanding the scope of potential breach by examining the system logs. How do you differentiate between false positive and true positive in security alerts? False positive is an alert triggered in by being activated and uh, while a true positive indicates a genuine security incident and that requires investigation. Describe the steps you would take to investigate a suspicious network traffic alert. I would start by collecting relevant logs, analyzing network traffic, identifying the source and the target to remind the severity and then escalate or mitigate thing necessary. What is Maitri attack framework and how it can be used in SOC operation? Maitri attack is knowledge base of of advisory tactics and techniques. SOC analyst uses it to understand attacker behavior, identify gaps in defense and improve incident response. Explain the concept of threat hunting. How would you conduct threat hunt? Threat hunt is a proactive search for uh, threats that may have evaded detection. I would start by formulating hypothesis, collecting and analyzing data and looking for anomalies and in or indicator of compromise. What is the role of endpoint detection and response EDR solution in SOC? EDR solution monitor and uh, respond to the security threats or individual endpoints. They provide visibility into the endpoint activities and help to investigate the and mitigate the incident. How do you handle a ransomware incident in SOC environment? Isolate affects system, preserve evidence, identify the ransomware strains, access the impact, decide whether to pay the ransom or restore the affected system from backup. What are the SIM tools and how do they aid in SOC operations? SIM, Security Information Event Management tool, collect, accelerate and analyze the security data from various sources to provide insight into the potential security incident. Explain the concept of incident triage. Incident triage is a the initial assessment of security incident to determine its scope, severity, and potential impact, helping priorities response efforts. What is SOC playbook? Security Operation Center playbook and why it is important. A SOC playbook is a document set of procedures and guidelines for responding to the specific security incident. It ensures the consistency and the effectiveness in the incident response. How do you stay updated on latest cyber security threats? Trends? In regularly reading security blogs, attending webinars, participate in relevant forums, and subscribe to a threat intelligence feed. What is the difference between vulnerability and an exploit? Vulnerability is a weakness in the system, while the exploit is a piece of code or a technique used to the take advantage of that weakness for the malicious purpose. What is the role of firewall in network security and how does it function? Firewall acts as a barrier between a trusted network and untrusted external network. It inspects and filters the traffic based on predefined rules to block all traffic. Explain the concept of zero trust security. Zero trust security model where trust is never assumed and verification is required from anyone trying to access resource even if they are inside the network parameters. How do you handle a situation where a scenario sorry where a senior executive laptop is compromised in a security incident? Oh this is a scenario. I would follow established incident response procedure, isolate the laptop preserved evidence and 
prioritize the incident while involving senior management in the communication process what is the difference between ids and ips we ids detects the alerts on suspicious activity ips also do the same thing and even blocks and mitigate the threat explain the concept of funny pots in cyber security what is the role of user and entity behavior analytics upa in sock ueba ube solution analyzes the user and entity behavior pattern to detect anomalies and protect insider threat what are the what are the common challenges faced by sock analysts in their day to day work Challenges may include dealing with the high volumes of alerts, staying updated on evolving threats, and balancing incident response with proactively security measures. Explain the importance of incident documentation and reporting. Documentation and reporting are essential for ma maintaining an audit trail, improving incident response process, and meeting compliance requirement. Do you handle DDoS attack? targeting your organization website how do you handle implementing ddos mitigation measures reroute traffic and monitor the, for an unusual activity while collaborating with your ips and ddos mitigation service what are the critical components of incident response plan and how do you develop one an incident response plan includes preparation, identification, containment, eradication, recovery, and lesson learned from the attack. Developing one involves risk assessment and stakeholder input. Explain the concept of kill chain in context of cyber attack. The kill chain represents the stage of attacker goes through the during the, an attack, from initial reconnaissance to achieve their objective, understand it helps in threat detection and mitigation what is the purpose of network segmentation in cyber security architecture network segmentation isolate parts of networks limiting the spread of attack and minimizing the potential impact of security incident how do you ensure the confidentiality and integrity and availability cia of sensitive data in SOC environment by implementing access control encryption regular backups and monitoring for unauthorized access or changes what are, are the concept of least privilege and why is important in cyber security least privilege means granting users or a system only the permission and the access they need to perform their attacks reducing the attack surface and limiting the potential damage in case of breach how do you conduct a post incident review pir and after handling a security incident pir involves accessing the incident response process identifying what went well and what needs to be improved and updating procedure accordingly what are some common indicators of compromise iocs that you might look during an investigation iocs include unusual network traffic unauthorized access system file change and known malware signature explain the concept of zero day vulnerability and how do they affect cyber security zero day vulnerability are newly discovered and unpatched cyber security flaws that can be exploited by attackers they pose a significant threat because no patch is available at the time of discovery how do you handle incident involving insider threat investigate the incident directly collect the evidence involve hr if necessary and follow the established procedure for handling insider threats so so this is the first part of sock analysis tl1 interview question and answers let us see on next part please subscribe and share this video for the people who are searching for sock analysis job